Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Millennial Waterfowl. I'm your host, Jake, founder and creator. So, this morning I wanted to talk about something that I've been thinking about for the last couple of days. And something that is really important to me that I feel like I should share with you guys is why I made my page. Okay, I can't tell you how many videos I've watched where a lot of people do the same things and a lot of people do the same reviews or the same product review or the same idea behind the picture of what they're doing. Now, I'm going to take a step back from that for a minute and I'm going to tell you why I'm doing it. Everybody has a different opinion on everything. And my parents always told me, if you're going to buy something, especially something expensive, you know, let's say a car, a house, you know, something expensive, wait three days and let and just think about it. And I've kind of applied that to a lot of the things I do that are very important and some things that aren't very important, but I still take that time if I have it. So not trying to again fall I say that a lot not trying to fall back from the subject I made my page to help other people understand a different perspective I'm not like every single person that goes hunting I'm not the the smartest the best and I'm not trying to claim that I am a normal person everyday life I work a regular normal job I mean it's not that normal of a job but I work a job my wife works a job I've got a little kid at the house that I'm raising, you know, I'm a father. A lot of people are like that too. So you're like, yeah, okay, you're just like everybody else. I'm trying to make a difference in the aspect to where you have a second opinion. You have a 20th opinion. You have a 30th opinion. And this is what I want to do. This is, hunting is my passion. It has taken a lot um, over the course of the last nine years of my life, it, it's kept me on a straight path. Um, a lot of my friends would go out and party and get in trouble or, you know, miss this or not attend that. And, you know, hunting was always in the back of my head. You know, if you get in trouble you know, and you lose your privileges to own a gun or you start falling into that category, you're never going to be able to do that. And I've always been so passionate about hunting that I think it kept me for making poor choices. Not that I didn't have free will to make my choices, but it gives you something to look forward to. Even in the off season. In the off season everybody it's terrible. You go fishing <laughs> to kind of get through back to hunting season. Um, I don't get me wrong, I love to fish, but at the same time, you know, I'm passionate about waterfowl hunting. I'm passionate about deer hunting. I'm passionate about turkey hunting. I love to hunt. I love to I love the meat. I love seeing smile on people's faces when I take new friends out and they shoot their first anything you know that's rewarding to me and as the years have gone by as a you know maturing hunters coming up I've learned that there's a lot more to it than just the harvest the the oh my god that you did it like with deer hunting you get one second that one two three seconds of that adrenaline and then that's it you know, and then the, oh, you know, waterfowl hunting. A lot of people like to waterfowl hunt, in my opinion, because it's more fast paced. You know, you don't have to be super, super quiet. You can cook, you can cook, you can cook, you can cook. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about smells as much. Um, it's more of a fast pace. It's more of a, as a lot of people call it, a young man's sport. But I mean, I know tons and tons of people that waterfowl hunt that are older. And. I think it's something that when you get into and you find out it's for you, you'll know. You'll know right away. I mean, it, when you go hunting and you don't get excited when you're getting out in the woods, and you don't get excited about throwing decoys out, and you don't get excited for the tip of that first 15 minutes of sunlight to come up, maybe you need to look into something else. But for me, it's, it's never died. It's something that every single year, every single hunt, you know, that, that passion, that that excitement, that wonder that what's going to happen always comes out. And that's why I keep doing it. And for me, sharing that with you guys, I think would show 
something different in the aspect that I'm a younger hunter. Now, don't get me wrong, there's tons of people that are in their 20s that are hunting. There's people in their 30s, there's people in their 40s, and there's people that are 16 and 17. I started hunting in 2009 when I got all my hunter safety stuff done and taken care of, and I mean, it's nine years ago. It's almost, this is my 10th season. So it's it's been a while, you know, there's two, eight more generations that have came up right behind me and, and things are changing, things are evolving, things are different. Products are, are getting better, um, weapons are getting more advanced, um, boats are getting more luxurious, coats are getting warmer. There's so much that's changing in, in not necessarily just the waterfowl industry and hunting but with people in general that the people that you used to hunt with and the people that hunt now may be two completely different types of, of hunters. And when I say, you know, like why I named my page Millennial Waterfowl is, you know, the next generation. We are the next generation coming up in hunting. And I kind of want to set that standard for that generation and show people like, hey, you know, let's let's make this grow let's do better let's let's give each other the feedback of positivity and and make this more of a tight-knit group and and you know be proud to be a waterfowl hunter be proud to be a hunter because there's so many things going on with social media there's so many things going on with the news there's just tons of stuff going on right now with with firearms and and shootings and just tons of negativity PETA, you know, people have different outlooks on eating meat now. I mean, I know it's always been a thing, but it seems like my generation coming up, things have become more vocal, and everybody's really got their opinion out and voiced it to the point where now everybody can really see it because, look, I'm right here talking to you guys. So I feel like, you know, bringing myself into this gives someone a laid-back way of listening and learning and and I still learn too every day is a new lesson whether it's with waterfowl hunting hunting in general you know people skill every day is something to learn if you don't learn something new then you wasted the day I try to learn something every day and it may be so small but recognizing it is important so my goal with starting this page is to, is to help a lot of people. I'm not here to school no 20-year-old hunters, no 10-year hunters, no 5-year hunters. I'm not here to yak at you all and bore you guys with something that you guys already know. I'm here to help the new guys on the block, to help the, someone that doesn't know and doesn't want to get bullied over social media by a keyboard warrior. You know, someone that can just be like, hey, I got a question. Shoot me a message. If I don't know, I'll look it up. I'll help you find out. That's that's what I want to do. That's something that is important to me because sometimes you don't have that and there's a lot of things that I learn the hard way and that's not something that I necessarily want everybody to do but I wished I could have been like, oh, hey, man, I wonder how this works. Boom. And with social media, the internet now, right at your hands, you know, my eighth grade teacher, you can't have a calculator on that math test. Why? Well, when are you going to be walking around with a calculator? You might need, you might not have one, and you need to learn how to do it. Well, I hate to tell you, I told you so, but we have one now, 99% of the time, readily available. So, kind of booyah. Um, but my point is, with everything with that, is you gotta, you gotta keep trying. And I'm not here, but to do anything, but show the love and the passion for the sport that so many of us do and make things better for everybody. I think we all coming together as a community, talking, getting stuff rounded up, helping new people get involved in the sport. There's so many companies that take a hunter, take someone with you. It's true, we need to, because if we don't, I mean, who's gonna pass it on? I'm not saying you gotta force someone to do anything, by no means, but it's not that hard just to get someone involved and give it a shot. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. If you guys have any questions, like I said, shoot me a message. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a like. Subscribe if you already haven't. Um, I'm going to be posting some more videos today. And Millennial Waterfowl out!